it's laughable that you even think that Baker Mayfield could compare to a LeBron James, especially in the city of Cleveland, where LeBron James is basically from Akron, Ohio, outside the city of Cleveland. LeBron James has a head start on Baker Mayfield, 23 years young right now, Baker Mayfield. LeBron James said, not only am I from this area, but I was a star at the age of 16. So when Baker Mayfield looks around at 23 and says, oh, this feels good, giving Cleveland his first win in a couple years, LeBron's like, I've been on the cover of Sports Illustrated since my junior year in high school, and you just got on the cover of that a couple months ago. Like, LeBron's lead before Baker Mayfield even steps on the field in Cleveland is insurmountable. You can't catch up. Now, let's not even talk about just popularity because we're knowing there are two different phases of their careers, obviously. You're talking about the sport and how football is going to give him the platform. The great equalizer. Ah, oh, the great contraire, equalizer. mon frere. <laughs> uh, look, I, I, football has a bigger economy. It's a bigger sport but it doesn't produce bigger stars. I mean, just think about it. I give you one metric. Let's just look at social media and followers. Uh, yeah, the, the fantasy world. You've, okay. you've, you've okay. dived into the fantasy okay. world. Okay, okay. I just thought that people at home who say, I like you will actually follow you. Uh, my bad. Uh, but I think that's an actual... <laughs> it's that's actual thing. I, I can start naming names. Everybody thinks they're going to watch them on TV because they follow them on Twitter. It don't happen. But how about but this? Continue. How about the top five? <laughs> you can't dispute this. The yeah. top five social media accounts in NFL... Add them all up. The top five, Jason. You in the fantasy world. Can I finish this? Go ahead, Marcelo. And you don't want to hear it. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. You add them up, they're not even half of LeBron James's gotcha. followers. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. So, so we know this from when we first have that unfortunate choice placed on us that I'm no longer in the race to be a basketball player. I must be a football <laughs> player. I'm sitting there in high school saying, this six foot eight guy is getting way more love than me. And I think I'm a better prospect in my sport than he is. It's always been that way, Jason, that basketball players, because of their platform, because they actually market the stars, they're sitting there on the court in a tank top, no helmet. They are bigger stars. Baker Mayfield doesn't stand a chance in catching LeBron James. He's playing the game that matters, football. 10 million people watched Baker Mayfield last night at the height of that. It's the highest rated game on the NFL network in three or four years when everybody's saying the ratings have been going backwards. That's football. Two million people, two and a half million people watched LeBron's debut in 2003, 15 years ago, before all the cord cutting and all that other stuff. And look, trust me, LeBron is magical. I get it. He is magical, and the sport of basketball is magical, but it's not football. The most important position in all of sports is quarterback. Exactly. In all of sports. Thank the you. The dude plays quarterback, uh -huh. and he plays in the league that matters. This is, again, it used to be the heavyweight champion. Uh -huh. used to be the king of all sports. It used to be the shortstop in baseball, or whoever the greatest baseball player was the king of all sports. The king of all sports is the quarterback over the last 20, 30 years. Baker Mayfield's playing that position. People, that was a, the Browns versus the Jets, and America stopped on a dime to go, holy cow, I got to see this little dude that won the Heisman Trophy that no one e even thinks about. That game was very yeah. buoyant. Baker Mayfield hit the game field. It was electric and was an event. It was an event, and I'll give you all of that, and I will give you even more as he's playing the most important position in all of sports. Yeah. Agreed. And he's not even the king of that position. That's yes. one Tom Brady. And even Tom Brady in GOAT status is not as popular, not a bigger star than LeBron James. So already that's a, a mute argument when you're saying you're not even the best in your position or the best in that sport, and even the best in that sport can't compare to it's LeBron It's about James. being compelling and having a story. Okay. This do and so because, look, the whole time Peyton Manning was in the league and was at the height of his power, he dwarfed Tom Brady, even though Brady was having more team success. And I've referenced Peyton Manning for a reason, because I've seen this, Marcellus. I've seen this. I'm from Indiana. Okay. The entire time I'm growing up, and if you go study the history of Indiana, our culture, as it relates to sports in Indiana, was dominated by basketball. Yes. High school basketball and Bobby Knight. And Peyton Manning came in and rode this football thing. And if you go look at Indiana now, he completely changed the culture. It is a football state. Bobby Knight went away. Indiana basketball went away. High school football there is now, it's incredible. Turning out players and whole thing. That's all Peyton Manning 
playing that position, having that. Peyton Manning, you thought you were watching some history when you watched him play. Is he going to be the all-time greatest player? No, Brady ended up beating him out. Yeah. But, but the magic of that and the magic of this little kid, and who knows, maybe he won't continue it. Yeah. Who, who knows? You get hurt, anything could happen. But this little dude that's walked on twice uh, at major universities and won the Heisman Trophy, no one thought he could uh, – a lot of people thought he didn't have the right size, the right fit, the right attitude for pro football. He came out and started a story in a city that hadn't won games in, in uh, two years that if that story continues, trust me, boop. Yeah, yeah, trust he, you. It'll be now, witness, you? and he'll be on billboards the same way LeBron is, except he'll be bigger because he's riding that football horse. Look, Grandpa, look, look the way, they, <laughs> the, the way these campfire stories you're giving truth. me. This not, no, it's not true. You know why it's not true? The way that Indiana treated Peyton Manning at the end, uh, uh, how much impact did he have to the point of where... Man, they got a statue out in front of him. Oh, oh that's great. A, yeah, we're going to a... keep the statue. We're not going to keep you. Okay, that sounds amazing. Here's the thing. Uh, Chicago used to be a football town. Then Michael Jordan showed up, and uh, what had happened was... okay. Well, it, that's a great point because LeBron ain't Michael Jordan. That's the other thing. But 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 continue. Yeah, yeah. And, and listen to this. Um, you want to talk about story and impact in the community. Do you think everyone in Cleveland forgot what happened in Columbus, Ohio when the same Baker Mayfield who walked on to two major universities, Heisman Trophy winner, decided to put an Oklahoma flag right in the middle of Buckeye Stadium and say, you know what? Disrespect this whole terrain. So those kind of things, you're trying to give me story. I can push back with story that says Baker Mayfield has already started behind eight. And then people at Ohio State, if he walked out there to Ohio State, they'd let him dot the eye today they after would. what he did last yep. night. And they would celebrate him and love him because of what he did last night. No one, they were getting killed, their clocks clean. Everybody in Cleveland was ready to fire Hugh Jackson. This little dude trots out onto the field and performs a magic trick. And, and, and I'm just telling you, it's football, it's the quarterback. Look at the numbers of people that watched that game last night. Baker Mayfield is potential magic, and if it continues, he will be bigger and more important, particularly in Cleveland, but just in sports in general, than even LeBron James. You're right. Look, they would, ba they would book Baker Mayfield right now because LeBron's unavailable. Because <laughs> if, if, if LeBron doesn't want to come, go get Baker Mayfield. Plan B is Baker Mayfield. I can't believe. Better. Yes. I can't honest. believe you played football your whole life and you don't even understand the sport. You don't I, even understand the horse you was riding They on. watch football teams. They don't watch the individual stars because they don't magnify us to the level of a basketball player. Every football player I know. Play defensive one. line. He's, not a, he's a quarterback, man. I just said Tom Brady, the GOAT. Tom Brady's looking like who's better than me? And then he goes to, let's just have this mythological yeah. party. And hypothetically, they're all saying, who gets the best seat in the house? Michael Jordan walks in, guess who gets the best seat in the house? Michael Jordan. Then they say, oh, there goes Tom Brady, there goes Kobe, there goes LeBron. Do you think Tom Brady's next? No, he has to continue to let the basketball players sit before he gets a seat at the table. Marcellus, last thing we got to go. Okay. The problem <laughs> we're having here is all your houses have been in California. No, that's not true. I lived in oh. Buffalo, Florida. You know how to play. Briefly. Okay. Briefly. All right. You were a California New kid. New York. Went to school. You were a California kid. I'm listening. I'm from the middle America. Mm -hmm. And they build houses in middle America, all this flyover country. Yeah. That Tom Brady's getting these seats that you think is going to everybody else. Okay. And, and these seats that Baker Mayfield, if he keeps playing like that, he'll get any seat he wants in any house in between New York and L.A. Okay. Trust me. All right.